Okay, he's a little bit stuck. And my aim's a little bit bad. Okay, there we go. He's gone. Okay, you're locked from the other side, so that's also another Skyrim door for sure. So there's, there's way more combat than I was expecting from the first stream. But I mean, I guess, like, why would they have given you so many arrows, right? Okay. Where are you guys? They're so loud. Holy shit. I can't tell if you're alive. Someone's going to shoot you in the head. I will say the combat's not that hard. Unless they swarm you, because of course, like, reloading a bow and arrow. I guess drawing a bow and arrow. Not the fastest thing ever. Okay, which of you are going to turn alive? I know some of you are going to. Hello. Stop. Do not come any closer. Who are you? Uh, are you Kabash? I am Kabash. Yeah, I'm looking for you. And let me guess. Another Greek or Roman come to loot and plunder the resting place of my... I'm island. just looking for one particular plaque. Do I look Greek or Roman to you? Hmm. Trousers, boots, curious hair. No, I suppose you do not. Then what do you want? Oh, it's way worse. I'm British. <laughs> I'm just here to look for an Egyptian plaque. Hmm. To what end? Um, I want to return it to the obelisk. Hmm. That is welcome news. You really are not Greek or Roman, are you? I was planning to return it myself, but for now, I must remain. Here, take it and restore the honor of Osiris. Oh, that was easy. Thank you. Now, as for the other plaque. The four plaque, you know about that? Indeed. I you have, have both? Right Holy shit. I stumbled across a collection of dusty curiosities while searching for a place to hide from the hungry children of Amit. And there it was. May I have it? You may not. Okay. In fact, I am about to I, I can't let you do that. Because it speaks a treacherous, blasphemous lie. How so? I will tell you. But first, do you know what this place is? Uh, it looks Egyptian. Uh, uh, we are archaeologists. We have bonuses. The what? Indeed. And I see you know our history. This is the Duat. See what has become of it. I have been down here for weeks, piecing together its story. And here is what I have learned. As Egypt declined and the Greeks had their turn to flourish, their souls came here in great numbers. But instead of adopting our ways, they copied and corrupted them. When they found the obelisk bearing the name Osiris, the true god of the underworld, they desecrated it, removing his name and replacing it with Hades. Even the ferryman of the dead, known to my people long before as Kerti, they renamed to Keron. As if that desecration was not enough, they built over this place, using it as the foundation for their own underworld, so that ours was forgotten. Hmm. 
My only solace is that the Greeks then suffered the same fate when the Romans rose to power, renaming Hades to Pluto, and the cycle began anew. Okay. I can see why you're unhappy with the Greeks and the Romans. I'm glad to hear it. Which brings me to this other fourth plaque. It is inscribed with a script I do not recognize, but it is ancient, almost as if it is older than the plaque bearing Osiris's name. But if that is so, it would imply the gods of Egypt are mere imitations too, copied and corrupted from an ancient people who prospered even before us, and that my people did to them what the Greeks and Romans did to us. <laughs> but this uh, I cannot accept. Uh, I sense a deception. Perhaps it is the work of Set the Usurper, seeking to undermine Osiris once more. What does the inscription say? You will never know. This work of sacrilege must be destroyed, thrown into the black abyss below in Osiris's name. Please don't. <laughs> you are too late. It is done. Yeah, I, I... Well, now I'm gonna have to go in after it. You would plunge into the depths of the Duat with no way back up. Madness. I am a madman. I'll find a way back mm, up. We shall see. Thank you, Kabash. Um, well... There we go. Now we're in the ancient Egyptian underworld. I believe that's Sumerian. Okay, thank you. Take that item. I found the four plaques. So, so I guess we know where all the plaques are. So now... I don't like this, by the way. I, I don't like this at all. Where's my bow? Not this bow. The good bow. Okay. So, I mean... This isn't the best place to be. I will admit, hello, hello, everybody. Do you have any loot that maybe I could, uh, I could use ancient stone tablet? Stranger, heed the final words of Nam uh, Namkuzu. Bear witness to our aftermath and laminate us. We did our best to live as the gods commanded. We planted and harvested together. We shared bread and beer. We accepted newcomers with open arms as a family. But with each newcomer, the bonds of our family strained and soon we were as strangers to each other. When those bonds are finally broken, my brothers and sisters planted only for themselves and ate and drink alone. It it was then there, in that empty space between us, that the sin took root. Negrel's sentinels have awoken and clamored our barricades. Learn from our miss. Okay, I'll take it. I'm sure that might, you know, have a... You know what? I bet you can use that maybe in the future to convince him not to throw it over um, overboard. Can we not go this way? Okay. Oh, sh- Oh, fuck! Hello. They really trapped their own temple? Why would you trap your own temp- I guess if you want to kill the evil guardians or something, but... Hello, hello. The Marian Pottery. Uh, broken side of Sumerian pottery. While other ancient people made pottery by hand, Sumerians were the first to develop the turning wheel. Good for them, good for them. Without the Sumerians, we would not have gotten that scene with Patrick Swayze and Ghost. Where, uh, they try, like, to ghost fuck. I'm gonna press this. Like, I don't know if this does... Like, we can't even get over there. Okay. I, I don't know if that's good or bad. I'll just ignore it. When I told you that you would not find a way back up, that was not a prediction. That was a promise. Kabosh! die here. There's no need for this end in violence. I I warned you against coming down here, against perpetuating this sacrilege. 
but you persisted. You're gonna flood the place, maybe. You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Just hear me out. Very well. I oh, that's resist, nice. But if I sense deception, or if you further insult my gods, I will carry out my threat. So I found a plaque. Why should I let you live after you salvaged this instrument of blasphemy? Um. If something can be destroyed by the truth, it only just be destroyed by the truth. There's no shame. That, that, no, no to that. No for this. I'm going to say the top one. Then you admit it. You wish to destroy That's not what I meant at all. The beliefs of my people. I will not allow this. Many of my ancestors endured great hardship to live good lives so that we may descend to the Duat in death and be judged accordingly. We prepare to have our hearts weighed on Anubis' scales and to swear ourselves innocent of sin before the 42 assessors of Ma'at. And yet, I arrive here to find the Book of the Dead contained only a seed of truth. And now, I ask myself, did our priests steal and embellish the stories of an older people and feed us lies all our lives simply to trick us into obedience? Uh, probably... Okay, we're not gonna blame the priest. Isn't being a good person worth our pursuit in and of itself? I am not sure I follow. Speak plainly. Um... Even if your beliefs about the afterlife weren't quite accurate, isn't it an important thing they motivate you to live good lives? Hmm. Perhaps there is some truth in that. What is your point? Are you going to abandon a lifetime of good character now that it matters most just because you found out you were misled? You are persuasive. Very well. Thank you, Kabosh. Thank you. And you may do what you will with that plaque. I will remain here for a while and attempt to learn what I can about the foundations of my people's beliefs. Go. Okay, I want, we got to not step on this because I think that's going to kill the Kabosh. Can I avoid not stepping on it? There we go. There's no reason to kill Kabosh. You know, he's just doing what he thinks is right. By the way, is there any loot? Kabosh, is there a way that I can loot your people's ancient temple? No, the invisible walls are stopping me. Okay, well. Thanks, Kabosh. I will be going now. He seems like a nice fellow. That's like a real archaeologist. Uh, is this where we came from? I actually don't even know where we came from. Whoop. Said like a real British. <laughs> No, this is where we came from. This is not where I want to be at all. Okay, how the hell do I get out of here? Probably the way we came in would be my guess. And I don't know how that door opens. We never were able to get to the other side, I think. We'll take your arrows, though. Oh, now it's open. Okay, never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. We're good. Okay. Um, let us escape. <laughs> Gotta remember how to get the hell out of here. Okay, this way. You carried the gift of Prometheus in your hand. 
Remarkable. Hey, I've, I've gotten his stuff. See you again, I did, I did. But I can't tell you that I did that. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna leave now. You have a great life. I now need to get Galerius elected. In order to... Are the gold statue wearing clothes still? I mean, their, their clothes turn into gold as well. Got a statue. So I guess we have the note being that we know that Malleus is bribing people to vote for him. The priestess. Salve, Dooley. How are you doing today? I'm sad. Dooley, I, 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 I just need your plaque, okay? Where is the priestess? Okay, so I have... I just... I know where the Greek plaque is. Don't believe a word they tell you. Okay, I'm not... I'm, not, I, I'm good, I'm good. I, know, I don't really listen to them anyway, rig the polls. I could. I mean, no, you can't. I mean, it's just people raising their hand, right? Okay. I'm here to try to convince you not to uh, do this. I want you to withdraw from the election. Don't talk. You're going to arrest Sentius for treason, sentence him to death by gladiatorial wow. combat. The mean has told me, for I know all your secrets. Nonsense. This is not. I don't know how you know about my plat. And now, I'm going to. Now. Okay, that did not do what I wanted it to do. Who has the key? Who has the key for Dually? You have the key for Dooley, right? Yes, it does. Are they? I'm... Is that... Uh, questionable investigation. Uh. Council of Sin. Good. Well, if you stopped one person from breaking it and allow... The crux of it is this. To illustrate, when the golden rule is broke, if you this if no, okay, I understand this. Excellent. It looks. And you like your release duly. Duilius. Releasing. Perhaps you're not aware he was caught. The, okay, I I need duly to be free. Do you have any? Can I loot you? No. Okay. Excrement, different smell. Because I. We need to figure out, I think, how to get into this room. But, like, I don't know. I'm, I don't know why I'm not being like, hey, you're keeping somebody upstairs locked up. Still here. But, doesn't, I don't know how to get the key there. Okay, get me out of here. Where is the priestess? I feel like we want to out. We want to get into that room somehow. I just don't know how to do it. Where, oh, where is the priestess at? Listen to clues. How else do I link, I mean, how else do I link him to being the other guy, right? Do you have anything to say? Hello, Def. I think I'm sure I'm Daniel. Only discover you locked me inside with the angry hornets. I managed to escape. Uh, are you well, stranger? Okay, get, 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 me, get me the hell off here. Where, oh, where is the priestess at? Oh, where, oh, where could she be? 
I literally have no idea. Yeah, we can get into the roof. We can get onto their roof, but getting onto the roof doesn't actually, um... Citizen. It doesn't- it doesn't open up. Like, there's not a way to get into that room from the roof. As far as I can so tell. Uh. Uh, hey, alright. Okay. So... Do we have to... I'm gonna talk to Aurelia again. Don't believe a word they tell you. Maybe we can blackmail her somehow? Because I have her diary, she doesn't know that. Any interesting gossip? Now, I... There used to be a midwife here. Unfortunately... Centilla... The... How can we try... You know, normally, I... Okay, that's cute. Do you know a way out? Right to business, huh? As a matter of... I'm happy to tell you all about it, but... So... I know it's a scam. Tell me more about what I'd be buying. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you, you'll. I know it's a scam. Ha! It's hardly my fault if people misunderstand the terms of a deal. I mean, it does say, let the buyer beware, right outside my tavern. You know, normally, I'd ex. Okay, the city. Guess, uh, as a matter of. I'm happy to tell you. So. Simple. It's a one way trip. And I'm. I think of it. Okay, well that, that doesn't help us. Thank you, but thanks for nothing. I'm, I'm actually kind of at a loss for leads. I, I honestly don't know what else we need to do right now. Hilarious. Maybe, maybe we do want to find the priestess. Don't believe a word. But I don't know where the fuck she is. Citizen. If I Greek plaque. I mean, this doesn't tell us anything. I mean, where would where would you think the priestess would be normally, right? Like last time, she was hanging out near uh, you. Like, if I could get the key to here, to Dooley, I could just kill Dooley and take his tablet. But, since we don't have the key... There we go, I've taken the scroll, I don't know what that does for me. Thank you for the 167 bucks. Nothing here is useful right now. Where the fuck is a priestess? If you were a priestess, where would you be? The pool? The bathhouse? Joy went to the bathhouse because that's where we were supposed to meet here for our secret meeting. But I don't think that's where she actually hangs out typically. So, that's the case. I'm guessing if I kill anyone with a golden bow, that counts as a murder. That at least would be my guess. Okay, I'm gonna go up here again. What if I killed Malleus? You know what? How much money do I have on me? I got 5,000 gold still. Like, I don't know if this makes sense, but if I just kill him, he might have something on his body that could help us. 
And now, uh, I'm... The many shall suffer for the sins of the Eat a secret one. shrine, money, okay. Is the secret shrine... Where the hell is the secret shrine? Are you the secret shrine? Demetrius, protect me! Okay, run, 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 run. Get the hell out of here. Hello, bye bye. What do you mean this is an invisible wall? Get me over there. Got him. Owned, owned, you just got owned. Again, I don't think my arrows do anything against them. Is this a Far Cry type game? No. It's not Far Cry. Okay, give me the give me the back. Give me out of here. <laughs> At least I stole secret sh what the hell's the secret shrine? Because I don't think we had that key before. Key to the secret shrine. Wait, is it the secret shrine? Is that the one to get to? How much money do I have on me? Seven thousand. Actually, again, I have more money. I'll go. Okay, there we go. Do all that stuff for me, thank you. Aurelia, you're not. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I don't need to talk to you. But I will talk to you. Hello. And now we Okay, there you go. Have fun. The priestess. If we can find her. Actually, I'm gonna take a look at my inventory. Do I have a key to the secret shrine? No. I've not taken I've not gotten this door, but is this the key to the Christian um thing? Which I believe is over here. It is. Stone disc. Does this count as evidence? There we go. I now have two rolling plaques. Stone carving. So we we know that he's Christian, right? We we know that if he's if we know that he's Christian now, right? We we've done the um, he has the keys to the secret shrine, which means that he's he's Christian. This is not where the hell I want to go. Ah, my God, get me. But we know that he's Christian. I'm gonna go talk to Octavia and see if she knows anything about him being a Christian. Hydrate, hydrate. I've, al I've already hydrated. I mean, you can't see. I don't have face cam on, so obviously you can't see me. Uh, I'll take a for you. I'll take a second sip. Okay, but I need to figure out where the hell. Uh... Where the hell this man's at? Salve, Rufius. I hear your rheumatism has you so well. Okay, up, 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 up. There's Ulpis. I think just having them talk automatically resolves everything they're doing, even though it makes no sense that uh, Glarius wouldn't have gotten up here in time. To the secret, yes, yeah, so we got the secret shrine. So I guess that's one thing we could try to do is just kill people and see what they have on their corpse. Okay, Octavia. Do you have anything to say about you being Christian? I need to, uh... Okay, I'm fine. 
There's a door behind, below the house of that guy. Is there? Please, there was a... Okay, well that doesn't help me out. Thanks, Octavia. The door below the house of that guy. Little jump, little jump, little jump. On the side of the guy, I'm baking push-ups. Um, I will look. Oh, there's the priestess. Hello. Ave to you as well. On the side of him doing push-ups. Because I am cool and you're stinky. Was it behind here? I don't even know if I'm supposed to be back here. Left of the stairs. That door, if you're not going with this door, this door just goes. Oh, this door. Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? I wasn't, but now I am. Contrary little cap at murder. Aren't... Why shouldn't I go down there? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Uh, why do I have to do everything around here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. We should go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body. Sprawled out on the ground, and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw a creature. Like a corpse of a man who'd been flayed. I can I can beat them. And it was eating Hannibal. Okay, yeah, what did you do? The same person would have done. I legged it out of there and put a sign at the door to warn the others. I got to straight. I'm still gonna go down there. It's your funeral. I mean, I can try playing Old World Blues again. Okay, let's see. I, I'm. Thank you, Raptor. I did not notice this door. I absolutely did not see this door ever. <laughs> Give me the golden bow. Oh shit, yeah, no, there's monsters. Boom, headshot. A lunar pendant. Gotta be more stuff down here than just a freaking pendant. Thank you for seven arrows. Okay, that looks like how we're going to get out of here in the future. Where? Okay. Coin pouch quiver. Apparently we can't go that way right now. How am I supposed to... Okay, this is... This is the entrance. Yes, I don't want to be in the entrance. I want to get... Okay, down. Down. Unless I have to go behind this guy. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Let me up, there you go, thank you. Oh, 
Golden statues, golden statues. Is there anything over here? I mean, okay, so we got the lunar pendant. Wines on waterfall. I have three bottles of wine. Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay, let's get out of here. Apparently this is a creative way up here. Oh! It's so loud. It's so loud. Oh, hello. You. Who are you? Did he send you? I'm Anthelwam, and nobody sent me. What's going on here? I'm Centilla. I found a way out through the gate of Horn, but it's locked. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, he locked me up. He wants to keep us all here forever. Or Find all three missing persons. Off. I'm so good at this game. He's a monster. You have to let me go so we can kill him and take his key. Okay. What? Who did this to you? Centius, my adoptive father. I'll think about Please it. Please help me. I'll castrate and <laughs> Um What would he do if I released I'm you? I'm going to take that key from around his neck, even if it means cutting his throat to get it. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. Help me and we can escape together. Okay, what about the others? Be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say? Um. So we can get out of here together. Building a distance, uh, the house of the governor. I was thinking the door would take. Uh, okay. Uh, what if I round everybody else up? Okay, let's get out of here. Thank you. Now follow. Wait. Did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. I've got a golden bow. That's pretty cool. What did you do with Centilla? Where is she? Um, you're human garbage, you know so that? That is how it's going to be. Oh well, this doesn't change anything for me. It's a shame, really. If you'd just done what you were supposed to. You'd have been looping through time forever until you gave up and killed yourself. Just like that soft-hearted pleb, Al. You remember Al? Now, surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one loop to the next. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident, I'll never know. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was, thinking you were a little bit sharper than Al was. Or perhaps you're just more willing to break the rules. He was a moralistic fellow, never once compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. I watched him come through the portal each time, a little older, a little more disheveled, a little more haunted. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck, and took his own life just before he was shot with a golden arrow. The next time I awoke, you showed up, but you You've caught up to where he was, 
so quickly. I'd have preferred if you'd given me more time to enjoy the trappings of my success. How many extra days did you give me? Just the nine? Not a lot compared with Al, but I've seized every day, nonetheless. In any case, there's no escape for you except the path that Al took, the path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? Ah, yes. Better to end it all now than find out what awaits you beyond that portal. So, you've discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? Um, you're gonna die a painful death for this. Do you really think you can take on a Decurion with that flimsy little bow? I've got to call them bow. I probably could, but I'm gonna let her have this one. Centilla, where is she? I'm right here, father. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Oh, oh, damn. He stuck his booty right up. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Come on. We have to go. Hey, what's happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. Okay, so I know... This is one of the endings. Talk to Al. Hey, Al! Full on cringe face. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fray. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Al Worth! I'm came in here to find oh, you. Here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I am Anthony Wham! Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty. But the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina. Freed an imprisoned woman named Centilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down everyone in the city and turning them into gold. Apparently, the only person to survive was Centilla, while the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Weird. Definitely wasn't me. I didn't for one moment think it was, but the way you say that makes me wonder. I mean, how many people with that name could there be in this place? What are you talking I don't about? understand how you could have been here 2,000 years ago. I first arrived here in the present day. I found your corpse hanging from a noose. Uh, I'm sorry. Come again? I saw the suicide note you carved into this tablet. Here um, you go. Let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. This is... Oh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how I could have written it. It was written by a different version of you. I changed the past and I, your fate. Uh, I'm not following. I was until you killed a man who opened time portal and drew you back in time, preventing it from ever so happening. Saying, because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this now you're getting it i guess you saved my life then i like how just accepts he accepts it so easily that's a lot to take in how do we get out of this place Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct until he used if we can find it okay right here in a cistern follow me let's go exit through the aqueduct We've, ex we've exited. The exit has been exited. It did. It, 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 it. Give some some credibility. Turn to the river. Oh, wait, how did you? How did you get here before me? I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured in. All right. You go on ahead. Whatever you say, my dude. What, dudes? Okay, we just gotta get our way to the river. Or we, yeah, we gotta get our way back to, uh, Charon. Hello, Charon. You're back. But 
you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find No, I found Al. I found him. He'll be here in a moment. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. I was beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered while we wait? I discovered your real name is Charon. Or was it Curdy? Ah, I see. Okay, so she's a demon. <laughs> Now you know. I suppose you have questions. Uh, who are you really? You can just call me Charon, if you like. I am sorry I was not completely honest with you when we first met. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned, from 5,000 years of experience, that most people find comfort in familiarity, in gradual change, and coming to see the truth in their own time. What truth is that? That you died, of course. You were dead when I I mean, I knew that. Here. My role, as the servant of the god of the underworld, has always been to assist the chosen. Real demon hours. The threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. Okay, how did I die? Usually. When people do not remember how they died, it is because they suffered a terrible trauma. This is the only character in the entire game that just looks at you and doesn't, like, make shifty eye movements. But her eyes are made out of fucking lava. I want to know. As you wish, you were murdered. You were exploring an old tomb when you discovered a cache of forgotten relics, including two silver coins of ancient origin. Unfortunately, as you emerged into daylight, you were set upon by two thieves. A nearby hiker saw the scuffle break out, and left to your aid, trying to help you recover your bounty. You both fought bravely, but your assailants were armed, and you were not. There was nothing you or your ally could have done. He died instantly at the scene, and you followed a few hours later. That man's name was Al Worth. What? You were each in possession of a sacred coin, called Karen's Opal by some. And so it was my duty to bring you here. Hey, what's so special about these coins? Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans bearing their dead with a coin in their mouths to pay the ferryman for passage across the river. Well, those stories contained a seed of truth. But not any coin would do. A long time ago, my master created a thousand silver coins and had me distribute them across the world. My orders were simple. Whenever a person died in possession of a coin, I was to locate them and ferry them here. Why? That is a question you would have to ask him, if that were still possible. In light of the path you have chosen, I am just his servant, doing his bidding. Only now, I find myself bereft of purpose. You see, the coins on you and Al were the last of the thousand in existence. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After five thousand years, the underworld has finally run its course. Can you return us to the land of living? I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see you! You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again! Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an event 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of, well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Centilla? How could you... What? She left a tablet of her own. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. I think she meant for you to read it. Here. Take a look. I don't know what became of you, or if you'll ever read this. 
but I want you to know that I will never forget you or what you did for me. It pains me that so many dear friends were not so fortunate. Ulpius, Sentia, Lucretia, Horatius, Galerius, or Dooley. Dooley wouldn't give me the tablet. He deserves his fate. But please understand, their blood is on my hands, not yours. It wasn't in her pocket. I will live with the consequences of my actions. And all I can do is move forward, trying to show others the same compassion you showed me. I promise you that saving my life will not be for nothing. Centilla. I'll take that. I'll take the stone tablet. Sounds like you meant a lot to her. I'd love to hear your story. But first, you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? Area's home. Hey, I've reached ending ending two of four. But you didn't get ending one. Ending one I know is the ending you get when you just kill the uh, guy right away to get the um the thing. <laughs> In the views. Oh, press escape to continue. And I'm assuming for the advertising. Thank you, Ancient Rome, for the ads. I don't know if we can skip this. Thank you, Nick Pierce. Thank you, Alexander Goss. Press escape to continue. I'm pressing escape. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. The only thing we had to do was figure out... I mean, you guys can... I don't even know where continue actually uh, brings you. I don't even know, like... Do we go for the true ending? You know, I'll, I'll, I'll try. We'll, we'll give it, like... What time is it? Give it, like, an extra half an hour, hour-ish. Because I want to know, like, how do you... Um... How do you get Malice to step down? I don't know how to do that. Captive weeping. Okay, so it respawns us here. I'm sorry, I gotta leave you. Because I need to do the other, uh... The other stuff for this quest. Do not land on the pavement! You land on the pavement, you idiot. <laughs> okay, let's start that again, but not land on the pavement. Continue from last save. Actually, where do those stairs go? What if I just ignore her completely? Bye-bye. It's nice knowing you. That door is locked. This door is also locked. Okay, well... Sorry your life sucks, but I need to, uh... Get out of here. Boom, okay, into the water. I mean, yeah, it sucks for her, but... You know, that's not my fault. Uh, how do I get out of here again? Okay, it's this way. I hope, I'm hoping she's okay. I was thinking about this, like, shooting her in the face with the arrow and see what would happen, but... I'm assuming everyone would just die in that situation. So, but I know, again, I know that you're a Christian. Dimitius. You're Quintius, yes. I like That's quite... I How do, what other evidence do we need? Like, I don't know... What are we missing? Oh, I have this- wait, I have the door? Wait, I have a key to this room. Hello. When did I get the key? Unless this is for the secret room. Hi, Claudia. Can we talk? What business could you Who's Claudia? Why are you locked in this room? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. 
How would you like uh, some help getting back Amalius? Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Go on. We need to bring her to the presentation. I don't think Malius is who he says he is. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those Oh, excuse me. Look. What makes you say that? Okay, I was hoping we could figure out his true identity together. No, I may have the very thing you're looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only he used the wrong name. Now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet... Questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... Wait a minute. Why exactly are you... Because I'm a nice person. We've go you've gone over this. I just hate to see such a beautiful woman treated so poorly. Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would see that impotent... I've got a golden bow. It's okay. I love it. it seems oh, we're in. We're in. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. But first, I need you to do something for me. What do you want? I want you to bring me some wine. Just one small... I have three bottles of it, lady. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. Oh, fuck. So what do you need... Why, why am I helping her? Actually, um... I don't have any questions. I have some wine right here. There you go. I have three bottles of the shit. Thank you. Here's the letter. I'm guessing it's written by Quincius, right? Quincy is to beloved Claudia for a time I despaired at the thought of being trapped here for the rest of my life, but then I met you. I discovered that as long as I am with you, I am exactly where I should be. Mere words cannot express my affection for you, and so I will form a grand gesture in your honor. I will become the city's magistrate so that I may govern with wisdom and strength with you by my side. Now, perhaps you can tell me who Quintius really is. According to this fancy letter from Emperor Nero, he's the person who started the fires in Rome last year. He's... Quite a lot more serious than I imagined. I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Give me that immediately. Nobody. No, I think I'll hang on to it. No. You. You tricked me, you mendacious little Sturcus. Excuse me, you call me a Sturcus? I didn't lie to you. It was a lie of a mission. You were planning this all along. I wasn't! You deliberately concealed it. May Jupiter cut you down. Again, I, I have it written down here. Lying is not a sin. I curse you. I curse you. <laughs> Excuse me. And mine I wrote and down my list of sins. It's not a sin. May you be unable to walk or eat or drink. May this drag you to the depths. This is outrageous. Okay, bye, Claudia. <laughs> you have a good life now. Okay, I need you to withdraw, please. You again. My name is you and I love what? what do you mean I I, I have the letter? I trust. What do, what do you mean I have the letter? Okay. Claudia? <laughs> Quinn just can't read. Do I need to call the Get out before I have Not this woman, the other one. Out. Oh, I need to bring it to um I Need to bring her to the presentation. Not this woman, the other one. So I gotta give it to the priestess? Don't believe a word oh, they right. tell you. And you the Vestal Mason Equidia? Uh 
Maybe it's right. We're in the underworld. But I, let's see. If we don't have much to go on, except the old her, her sister. I mean, I've I've already got three. We talked about this. Um. That woman that killed him. Equidia? The Vestal Maiden. Who are they? Rufius. Mm. A golden bowl, just like Apollo and Diana's. You can call the election early. We need Galerius. Hey, I need him to drop out first, right? Inventory. Cause I got the letter. That's quite an impressive bow you have there. Just like Diana. Hmm. Woman on the cisterna? I don't think... Because I think that, like, ends the game. Like, I don't think that's where we need to go. I don't think I've talked to you since, uh... Sorry, was that you? What's your story? I, I think uh, I think we've read heard this before. Oh. Yeah, but you have nothing to tell me. Let's try not. Should I drive? Uh, I don't know. Talk to you again for one second. It must be complete. It'll be between Senti. Why do you Okay, nominate another candidate? I like Nomic Lirius. It was only yesterday that he said to me he'd only So, I suppose if you'd like to see Galerius elected magistrate. Certainly. How do how do I get him to withdraw? Persephone root? Maybe I was too aggressive when it came to Claudia. Like, maybe I should have given her back the notes. But... But I don't know. Do not know. Still here. You. My name. You. You mean my hetero? And I'm hardly the only person. I like to think. Unlikely. I. Tr hmm. Great time paradox. Most likely to break. Tell people that we suspect them. As a to...